this is Hannah Frederick, and I am one of your undergraduate learning assistants in BSci 222, and today I'll be talking about eukaryotic and prokaryotic transcription and translation. And I'll be talking about the main differences, but I'll be highlighting things, so if you don't know them in detail or you can't identify what these certain topics are, then you should definitely go back into lecture and learn more about them. So prokaryotes will be on the left side and eukaryotes will be on the right side. And just to review what the central dogma is, we're going from DNA to RNA and then to protein. So let's start from going to DNA to RNA, which is also known as transcription. So prokaryotes and eukaryotes obviously start with a double-stranded piece of DNA, which I'm drawing currently. And the darker regions that I'm drawing are known as the coding region. We'll be focusing initially on the region before the coding region. The promoters of prokaryotes and eukaryotes do differ. So for prokaryotes, you have the negative 35 and negative 10 region, while eukaryotes have four different um, general sequences, but not all of them are technically needed for transcription. But the four general that are usually seen are TF2B, the ta, -ta box, initiator, and the downstream promoter. So both of these promoters, although they're different in prokaryotes and eukaryotes, both help RNA polymerase bind to the DNA and initiate transcription. The difference between helping RNA polymerase bind is that prokaryotes use sigma to help bind the polymerase to the DNA, while eukaryotes use basal transcription factors. Termination during transcription of eukaryotes and prokaryotes also differ. In eukaryotes, it's known as polyadenylation, while eukaryotes use rho-independent and rho-dependent terminators. I really recommend for you guys to go back and understand these to the full extent, but today we won't be covering them in detail. The difference between eukaryotes and prokaryotes is that eukaryotes also have post-transcriptional modifications, while prokaryotes do not. This includes splicing of the introns, addition of the 5' prime cap, and addition of the 3' prime poly A tail. Now that we've covered DNA to RNA, let's cover RNA to protein, which is also known as translation. So this is going from our mRNA to our protein synthesis. Prokaryotes and eukaryotes use different sequences for the ribosome to recognize in order to start translation. Prokaryotes use a sequence called the Scheindel garno while eukaryotes use the 5', prime, five prime cap to load the ribosome. In prokaryotes, IF1 and IF2 help bind the small subunit of the ribosome, while eukaryotes have many initiation factors compared to prokaryotes to help this binding. The scheindel garno sequence helps position the ribosome correctly at the first AUG to start protein synthesis, while in eukaryotes, the 5' prime cap allows the ribosome to attach to the mRNA, but then the ribosome has to scan for the first AUG after hopping on. This concludes most of the general differences between prokaryotes and eukaryotes within transcription and translation, so I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.